Hello, happy Monday. I'm excited. I'm going to check just to make sure that Facebook is cooperating and that I'm actually live. I'm excited to be talking about bathing suits this week. So this is, I'm doing a little bit different um, format with my YouTube videos and they're going to be based around a theme. This week's theme is body type. So tomorrow I've got the ultimate body type checklist and then on Friday I have outfits for different body types. Today we're going to talk about bathing suits for your body type. Don't have any idea how this shirt got in the bathing suit video um, or bathing suit catalog, but um, we are looking at bathing suits that are flattering for different body types. So let me go into some of these suits. I really handpicked these suits based on feedback from you guys, based on um, experience that my clients have had with these individual suits and based on um, the reviews and a lot of them have extensive reviews so let's talk about swim dresses we're gonna start we're gonna go there we're gonna start with something controversial we're gonna talk about swim dresses because I've often said that I don't think that they are modern and um, that there are better ways of covering your thighs, bum, and hips than a swim dress. Um, this example from Torrid, this is a, it looks like a tennis dress, but it's a swim dress. This is the style I'm talking about when I say this is, you know, what I think you should skip. Because um, it doesn't look like a bathing suit. It looks, to me, that really adds weight. And I'm going to show you how it looks on, you know, on different models. Um, I believe this model in the blue and then this model in the black are the same model. I feel like she looks a lot slimmer, taller, chicer in this black version than in the blue version. But so if you if you've decided you just really are a swim dress person, you really don't want to show your hips, bum, or thighs at all, and don't like the idea of doing a cover up with a mayo, which is typically what I recommend, I'm going to show you a couple of of Netta approved um, swim dresses, swim dresses that I think are modern. So this one from Beyond Swimwear. This is, um, let me see if I can open this up. This is a, um, a control brand, kind of like Spanx. Let's see if this opens up. This is probably going to open up in a different window. Okay, so I'm just going to blow it up for you guys. So this bathing suit here, this is a control brand. Now the link to this catalog is in the comments and um, the description of this video. So this brand has built in control and um, smoothing, kind of like Spanx. But this is a really cute and modern swim dress. Um, notice that the swim dresses that I prefer are have less volume at the bottom. I find that to be a lot more modern and also a lot more flattering. I don't think it's flattering to add a ton of volume to the hips, bum, and thighs if that's your trouble spot. Okay, this one from uh, Spanx. This is um, their PK shaping plunge swim dress. I like this swim dress. I think that this is a great option for someone who does have shape in the lower half of their body and not a lot of bust shape because I don't think that this has a lot of, from what I've understood from people, I don't think it has a lot of control um, or support in the bust area. It has, it has, it's, you know, fine if you're a medium sized bust, but if you're a really large bust, you'll probably want to look at another style. Okay, this style um, from J. Crew. The halter wrap swim dress, that's another modern option. I like that it's got a halter style, um, which I think is going to be really flattering, and it's a wrap style, also a flattering option. So these are some flattering swim dresses. I also like this one from Torrid. Um, so like I was saying, that the, the swim dresses that I think are the most flattering are going to be the ones that are most um, like swimsuits and less like dresses. And I think this is a nice option from Torrid in, in plus sizes. Miracle Suit always does very, very flattering suits. And I like this. This is their Alina swim dress. I like the asymmetric lines. I think that's going to be very, very flattering and um, offer you some extra coverage if that's what you're looking for and you really want a swim dress. Okay, so let's go into some of, I just want to make sure that Facebook is not kicking me off. Nope, I'm still here. Okay, just want to go into some of my favorite one-piece bathing suits and why I like them, like what their features are. So this one from Voda Swim, 
the far right, the purple bathing suit. This is a great style for those of you who have um, a smaller bust and want a little bit of ampli amplification in the bust area. Now, even though shoulders are really what balance the hips, um, having a little bit more um, interest in the bust area or a little bit more shape in the bust area can also help balance the hips a little bit. So if that's you, this could be a really, really nice option from Voda Swim. Andy Swim is a beautiful, beautiful um, bathing suit brand that has really modern mayos. Um, and they have long torso options and their size range goes up to an extra, extra large. So very much like Andy Swim for that. Now this is, this brand is called Cup, C-U-U-P. This is one of the few really modern, really stylish bathing suit brands that I have seen that goes up to very large bust sizes. So if you are not plus size, but you have a full bust, this is the brand for you. Now they do go up to larger sizes, um, up to plus sizes as well, but a lot of the large bust bathing suits are exclusively for plus sized women. And if that's not you, if you just have a fuller bust, but you're not, um, you're not plus size, it can be challenging to find a bathing suit that fits your bust and the rest of your body. Well, this brand cup, it has beautiful options. I love this. This has an adjustable ba band across. So you're, you're going by cup size, but the band on the back is adjustable according to your band size. Um, it has a, you know, removable swim skirt that you can wear over the top like that. It's like a, a little sarong that you can wrap over the top. And that's always my recommendation for coverage. I have a client who is a 30 G and um, this is the, the suit that we chose for her. Um, because again, that's the, it's hard to find if you're, if you're petite or you're um, standard sizes, but you've got that full bust. Okay, let's look at the next style. This is the bathing suit, the Norma Kamali uh, Bill Mio that uh, Oprah has featured multiple, multiple times. This is a premium expensive bathing suit, but it is um, a perennial. It comes out year after year after year. It never goes out of style. It's extremely flattering on pretty much every single body type. Um, it's just uh, it's just that unicorn suit that looks good on everybody, but you are gonna spend for it, but then you're probably gonna have it for the rest of your life. These suits do not, nothing happens to them. They do not die. Um, so I definitely recommend trying that Bill Mio swimsuit if that is in your budget. Um, now, if you are looking for fuller cup and tummy control, I really like, um, this suit from Land's End, it's a very sleek, modern bathing suit. I don't love all of their bathing suits, but this one is a really nice option. It's got a fuller cup, tummy control, and it comes in different torso lengths. So if you've got a longer torso or shorter torso, um, that can be a great option for you. It also comes in um, regular and plus sizes. So I, one of the th great things about a brand like Land's End is that it does have a nice wide size range. Okay, so I think that's a great problem solving bathing suit. Um, now this bathing suit from uh, Bare Necessities, Bare Necessities is a great site to look at if you're looking for, um, for bust size bathing suits, but their styling can be limited at the fuller busts. I really like this one because this is a, thir this comes in size, you know, a band of 30, which is a very low band obviously, um, and size D through F for the cup. This is their Serenity Plunge One Piece. So if you've got a full bust, but you're a small band, this is a great bathing suit for a fuller bust. Um, I love this style from Miracle Suit with like the faux leather strips on it. I think that's a really, really sleek and stylish bathing suit. Miracle Suit, all of their suits are built, have built in shapewear and are designed to be very, very flattering. So I love those options. Um, now this one from Sweaty Betty, this has an underwire bathing suit. It is um, just flat, just a flattering bathing suit in general. It's the kind that's gonna hold up really, really well in the water. It's, um, did I mention that it's underwire? It's recycled polyester. It's smoothing and compressing and all of the things to make you look um, your best in a bathing suit. Now, Albion Fit. Albion Fit is a great brand for modest swimwear. Um, and very flattering swimwear. So this is their off the shoulder style. I think this is a beautiful, this is a pale pink gingham, but it comes in solids. It comes in a bunch of other styles uh, or colors. 
and it comes in different, uh, you know, a nice wide size range. So they are compression bathing suits as well. So they're really designed to hold everything in and keep everything nice and smooth. Okay, this is a fabulous style from Miracle Suit, the Salter style bathing suit. It's a tummy toning bathing suit. It's a beautiful, elegant bathing suit. Again, my recommendation for those of you who, for either for modesty or for comfort, really want to hide or um, cover the, the tummy, not tummy, the hips, bum, and thighs, grab a sarong or grab a pair of wide-legged um, linen pants to do that with these uh, Mayo bathing suits. Okay, this brand, TA3 Swim, this is a, a shapewear brand of bathing suits, really, really good quality, really figure flattering, really holds everything in. They're, they're known for their fabrics. They're considered really indestructible, like these bathing suits, you know, if you invest in them, they're gonna last a really, really long time. They come in short, regular, long, and extra long torsos uh, lengths and up to a size 4X. So that's a nice bathing suit option. Here is the Spanx one piece um, plunge bathing suit without the swim skirt. And um, that is a, a great option. Again, it's a compressing bathing suit. It's a tummy toning bathing suit. These bathing suits have shapewear built in and they're going to be really, really flattering. So if you're looking for just a sleek, simple mayo, it isn't that PK material. I'd, I'm saying that material wrong, but it's that beautiful textured material that could be a really, really nice option. Okay, another unicorn bathing suit, this one from Somersault. It comes in solids as well as color blocking, different color, color blocking. This bathing suit looks good on every body. It comes in a wide range of sizes. Um, the only thing I would say is that if you've got a very, very full bust, you might need a little bit more support in the bust than this offers, but anybody, you know, large to medium bust and lower of any size range, this is a very, very flattering bathing suit from Somersault. Um, now I'm gonna show you let me see if I can find the picture. Here is this bathing suit with the matching swim skirt. I think nobody does um, beach to brunch um, better than Somersault. They have this skirt. They have a longer version of this skirt. They have a bunch of different pieces that go with this collection. And you can really have that full swim look, which is something I definitely recommend. Really build an outfit around your bathing suit so that you feel dressed, you feel stylish, you feel like you're best in the bathing suit. Another great cover-up option is, this is from Torrid, um, this is just um, a, a, like a long sleeve linen shirt, which I think is the most classic and the most versatile of cover-up options, it's to just do a long sleeve button, button front um, linen shirt in white or black um, to go over all your bathing suits, I think that's a great option. Now this bathing suit from Beyond Swimwear, this is um, a compression bathing suit that's tummy toning and uh, very, very flattering. So again, all of these bathing suits with the built-in shapewear, the TA3, the Beyond Swimwear, the Sphinx, they all have, and even the Somersault and Albion Fit all have compression um, technology that kind of holds everything in. This is a very, very beautiful bathing suit and a very flattering and elegant one. It's got the ruching, it just checks all the boxes. Another brand I really like for modest, really high quality and flattering bathing suits is the Hermosa. This bathing suit is the uh, tummy, toming, tummy taming bathing suit. It goes up to a size 14. Um, I like the belt detail. I think it's just lovely. Really always look for elevated details in bathing suits because they keep them from looking like just plain body suits and making them a little bit more stylish. Okay, let me make sure I covered all the bathing suits. Nope, I have a couple here that I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a couple of before and afters in terms of look at these models and look at the difference in these the same model in sorry uh here open it up again the same model in two different bathing suits okay here we go same model two different bathing suits i want to show you why i caution you to stay away from some of the more frumpy bathing suits so the model on the left is wearing, this is the same site, swimsuits for all, it's the same model, it's hard to tell in this picture, but it is the same model. Um, on the left, she's wearing a beautiful classic black bandeau one-piece bathing suit with all the all of the flattery features built in that, to that bathing suit. And she's wearing a beautiful black dramatic hat. She's just wearing it like, she's accessorizing it like it's an outfit, right? And it's a beautiful, flattering, modern one-piece bathing suit. The one next to it, not so cute. Like that pattern and the style same model, but she looks 
worlds like it's just a huge difference in in the bathing suit on the left and the bathing suit on the right now we're going to look at this model um same thing stunning model stunning model but look at the difference between her and the bathing suit on the left and the bathing suit on the right these are again this is from swimsuits for all like what a big difference um in this flattering black mayo one piece bathing suit again it's got all of the flattery features built in and then this weird awkward swim dress i think it's the same swim dress that's from the, the previous model in this dated pattern um is she still beautiful absolutely does she look way better in the first picture absolutely so just want you to see what it looks like even on models um to compare the same woman side by side like she looks so much wider in the printed bathing suit over that black bathing suit and it's not the print although the print is, is not good it's the it's the style okay now we're going to look at this is from the torrid website we're going to look at this model in a black sleek one piece bathing suit versus a black um or a printed like i don't know what this is romper bathing suit i don't even know how to describe that it is not that is not a good style now this is a plus size model actually and the swimsuits for all models that they're considered you know medium to plus size um and i think she absolutely looks better in the first version than the second version. Does the second version hide more of her thighs and, and, and hips and all of that? Absolutely. Does it look better? No. I don't think more coverage is necessarily more flattering. So if it's not a modesty um, issue for you, uh, I would go for a black one-piece bathing suit like the one on the left, add a swim skirt or add flowy pants and call it a day. You're going to look great at the beach. So I hope you enjoy these recommendations. Like I said, they're all linked. Let me know what you think of this type of video and if you'd like to see more like it. Love you guys and I will see you tomorrow on YouTube when we talk about understanding the different body types and the ultimate body type checklist.